We picked a pool and we want to know how much we can make. So this allows you to put in. So um, currently I have about 3,800 in the pool. Okay. Let's go over there. Let's go to West BTC. Crypto slow. Cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Today we're going to talk about balancer pools and can you really make a solid passive income using them? So let's get right into it. If you head on over to pools.balancer.exchange, you land on this pool and you're basically presented with all these different pools of assets. So, first and foremost, let's talk about what balancer pools are. So, what balancer pools are, are they're liquidity pools, which means people come and they stake their crypto on chain in the pool, and then this allows for trading. And then the people that participate in the pool get rewards in, in the essence by fees and other mechanisms. So, balancer pool, you stake your crypto on chain, you get fees and you hopefully make some money. Now, how do you know which pool to pick? Well, that's a great question. And this goes back to talking about what the balancer pools are. So if you actually look at a specific pool, it is made up of a group of assets that automatically balance. So if one asset price goes up, um, the, the, the gains that you make, if it gets out of balance, will go redistribute back to the other coins in the pool. So like, for example, on this bow weth pool, if you're in the bow pool and all of a sudden ETH goes up, weth is actually just wrapped ETH, it's one to one. Um, if ETH goes up, some of those profits are going to go back to the bow token and rebalance it. That's why it's really important to pick good assets when you pick a pool, because if you have a pool and you're using it and there's crazy gains on it because it's some crap coin, um, you know, you could get wrecked huge. So me personally, I like to stick to core coins um, and not venture off too far from that. Um, with that being said, uh, the bankroll vault pool just got whitelisted. Uh, they're waiting on the UI update, but this is great news. That means you will get rewarded. Now, what are the other incentives to being in the balancer pool? The other incentives are that you get paid in balancer token. So balancer token is, let's see what balancer token is sitting at. It's about 24-ish last time I checked. So you get an incentive of earning balancer tokens. Wow, it's mooned. $27.89. So these balancer tokens come in once a week, usually on Tuesday. That is subject to change. And they just get airdropped to your account. You don't have to stake them. You don't have to do anything. So now, what are the drawbacks of being in these pools? Well, there is a drawback, and that is called impermanent loss. So impermanent loss, a lot of people make it super complicated, but impermanent loss is when one or more of the tokens in your pool, your mutual fund, changes in assets. This creates arbitrage because of the rebalance, and you can actually end up with less of the actual coin count if you were to withdraw the liquidity, than if you just hodled. So really, in, in one sentence, a permanent loss is the difference between just hodling the assets and being in the pool. And this occurs when the assets in the pool diverge from each other, and this creates arbitrage, which traders pounce on. So that's really all you need to know. Now, what are your hopes? Your hopes are that the fees you collect um, offset this and the balancer token that you collect offsets this impermanent loss. But the question you came to this video for is how much can you really make? Well, let's get into it. So there's, um, 
There's lots of different tools. There's a new one called pools.vision. Whoops, pools.vision. I'll leave the link down below. And what pools.vision does is it scans the pools balancer. Um, I think it's just balancer. It actually be, might be multiple. And what you get is you get an APR, which is an annual percentage rate. And then you can go over here and you can sort by total APR. Now, keep in mind, don't get wrecked. Weft and curve, 5,000%. Okay. As you know, curve is all over the place, so be very careful. So you can see as these assets mix, okay, you have Pepe and ETH. I mean, <laughs> it's silly, 600%. But, it, and not all these tokens are whitelisted, which means when a token is truly whitelisted on Balancer, it will show a, it won't show the pop up high risk. Um, thing okay so keep in mind when you pick a pool you know don't just go by the APR go for something that you think is solid which brings me to predictions.exchange so this is pretty dope this is a new um, website I found that will look into compound curve balancer and it allows you to simulate your rewards uh, so let's see how much can you make on balancer let's find out all right so as you can see i wish let's see annual balancer total liquidity return on liquidity all right so you can sort and so this goes to picking a good balancer pool this goes to picking out a solid balancer pool that you can sleep at night. So for my choice, I chose WBTC WETH because you know what? The reality is I can sleep at night knowing I own BTC and WETH. Now, WBTC is the wrapped Bitcoin and WETH is the wrapped ETH. Okay, so getting to it. we're getting down to it. So now... We picked a pool and we want to know how much we can make. So this allows you to put in. So um, currently I have about 3,800 in the pool. Okay. Let's go over there. Let's go to West BTC. So balances. So you can see I have about 3,800 in the pool okay and i was just doing this for testing purposes so i put in my 3800 capital and i hit calculate my bow distribution all right 111 balancer tokens that is an 81.9 percent monthly return so if i divided 111 bows by 12 and then i divide the um, whoops, 111 divided by 12. And then I divide that by four, four weeks in them. I get about 2.31, um, 2.31 balancer tokens per week by staking $3,800. Now let's just go crazy here. Let's just, let's put in 10 G. All right. And the calculate. 8,197 dollars what what bank comes close to paying those types of rewards uh, they just don't they don't um so this is where this is end game this is where big money is parking their crypto and they're making absolutely insane games let's say that i was a whale and i had a hundred k in eth Okay, $81,000. I've doubled my money plus the price appreciation on ETH. Now, like I said before, keep in mind about impermanent loss. Um, but if you pick a good set of tokens, then you, know, you don't have to worry about it that much. And like I said, the um, bankroll um, ones have some distributing ones like a um, different 
just make sure you pick a good pole that you're comfortable with. Um, but I will continue to experiment with these poles and I'm going to test this and I'm going to see next week, um, you know, next Tuesday, did I get um, my rewards? So like I said, I put 3,800 in there. So I was expecting the 111. I was expecting about, what was it? 111 by 12 divided by four. I'm expecting about 2.31 tokens times the current balance or price, 27 bucks, $62 divided by 3,800 times 100. 1.64% interest, pretty much risk-free in the sense if I'm already holding crypto and it's just sitting there, I would rather be getting rewards um, on top of that. So that's that. Um, as far as getting into a pool, it's super simple. Once you go to the pool, um, you go over here, you wrap some ETH, and the fee on that is very low. You hit add liquidity, and that's it. Um, and you, I usually use single asset and then it just automatically breaks it apart. Now, keep in mind when you withdraw, I will get BTC and ETH in somewhat equal parts, meaning, um, you know, if I wanted all ETH, I'd have to flip my WBTC on Uniswap to get my ETH back. So, but totally 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 awesome i think this is a fantastic way to earn passive income is by using the balancer pools i know bancor and there's all kinds of new ones bancor is addressing um and permanent loss with their new ones um and it's a great way to diversify your portfolio if you're in different things and as always I like to earn passive income. I don't necessarily like to trade as much as everybody. I know everyone's been trading ERC-20s, um, and there's mad loot, but there's also mad wrecked um, if you pick the wrong um, coin. So like, subscribe. As always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.